All right, hello everybody. How you doing today? It is the Savage Stacker, and uh, today's video is going to be about: mm, Did you stack or did you save enough cash for an emergency? Now, if you look at the price of things today, it's things are expensive, and when I try to budget stuff, I try to put up enough money to where it's not gonna hurt me month to month, but also gonna be substantial if something was gonna happen in the future. And usually when I put it up, I don't really miss it. Now when I have it in my pocket, I, you know, I usually spend it. And it's really important for times like this to, you know, make sure that you're saving. I know saving can be hard sometimes. It's really easy to buy things online. They have targeted us and made it so convenient to buy things anymore <clears throat> that it, it's really easy to just swipe that card and in most websites you don't even have to swipe in your card you put in your code your cards already in there and you just push buy or like some other sites it's buy now you don't have to do anything you just go to the item push it it's on its way now that is convenient for you know items you need you know but it, it's, it's a way to help you spend your money. They have made it very convenient to spend your money. Now, when I think about saving, I think of a couple different things. And for one, um, like my, my stack, my, my precious metals collection is a, is a savings for me. That is one type of savings. And then I have another savings, which is like, things I want to go do, like say, go on a vacation or, <clears throat> you know, you know, things like that. And then I have another savings, which is an emergency savings. Now, my way of thinking is I'd like to have a security blanket of at least three months of cash saved up for bills. That's bills only. That's not including food, um, fuel, things like that. That's just the house, the truck payment, and my daughter's daycare and school, and things like that. Now those bills are roughly around $3,100 a month <clears throat> are my bills. And that's just my half. My wife's is the same. Our bills are close to, you know, six to $6,400 a month. And right now I'm doing everything in my power to like cut things out. I have a storage unit. That thing is $300 a month. It is ridiculous. And it's not even all the way full. I need to get a smaller storage unit and try to save 100 bucks a month or get it all out of there. It's what I want to do is get it all out of there. I, you know, it's like I'm repaying for these items, you know, 10 times over. And <clears throat> I don't want to do that. So I'm trying to cut back on every little thing that I can. Uh, my daughter's not in daycare right now. She can't be in daycare. So I get to save you know, close to 800 bucks a month right there, <clears throat> or over 800 bucks a month. So that helps out. So I'm trying to cut out everything that I don't need right now. Um, one of those things I do need is we're stuck in the house. We don't have cable, so we have internet and we have Wi-Fi. <clears throat> and, you know, it's not one of those things that you probably have to have, but to keep my family sane, I got to have it. All right, so <clears throat> that emergency fund that I use is uh, it dwindles fast because then you realize that you didn't have enough money for groceries the whole time if you're not working or you didn't have enough um, cash on hand for, you know, fuel or, or extra little things <clears throat> for the, you know, for the family or like holes in your, in your preps that you need to get, you know, so these things show up. So if I save three months, that's, that's nine, that's over nine grand, it's almost 10 grand I have to save just for an emergency fund to make sure that we are okay for three months if something really bad happens. Well, we are at that time right now where things are kind of crazy. And I'm watching the cash slowly dwindle down very quickly. Now, I said on my last video I wasn't going to buy any more precious metals for a while. I was going to hold back on my monster box. And, um, you know, I took some money out of my savings and I... And I did. I bought me 
one last two 2016s. I got a little toilet paper in there so they won't rattle around. These are probably the best, the best American Silver Eagles I've ever purchased. Every single one of them is pristine and they could probably all be graded a 70 easily. I mean, they're gorgeous. So I got some tissue paper in there so they won't rattle around because I don't want them to get scratched up. They are, those are the nicest Eagles I've ever bought. I bought another tubes that are, you know, sealed or just out of a monster box and they have little scratches on them. This is a pristine tube of Eagles and I am happy with my purchase. Now, one thing that precious metals have done for me lately is forced me to save my money. I have nowhere to sell any of my precious metals. I'm not going to send it to an online bullion dealer because they are not, you know, they're not paying much. You know, I'd be losing a whole bunch of money and I don't plan on selling. But if things were to get really hard, I couldn't sell. I, it would almost be impossible. Now, if I tried really hard and put things on like let go or something like that, I could probably sell. But without a whole bunch of different footwork and waiting a period of time, I'm forced to save, save my, my precious metals, which is great. That's why, that's why I have them. That's why I have them. That's why I have them to, to, to force me into saving my money. Okay, so <clears throat> this right here is three grand. That is a month worth of bills. It looks like a lot of cash. It's all 20s. You know, I got it in 20s on purpose. And then I have a little bit more. Um, not much. And it's slowly going away. You know, we've been on lockdown for a month here in my town. And I'm watching it all slowly dwindle away. And if this continues on for another two months, um, all that cash will probably be gone. Had to go sign up for a little unemployment. Had to do, you know, some things that I don't like doing. I'm a hard worker. I work 14, 15, 16 hours a day. And lately I've just been sitting on my big fat butt on the couch watching movies and playing with the kids. Going on a couple bike rides here and there, you know. And boredom, what do you do? You eat, you know, you eat <laughs> and you eat. So, yeah. Anyways, are you, are, you, are you saving enough cash? Have you, did you save enough cash for an emergency like this? Did you ever think that something like this could happen? I, I mean, I knew that something bad was going to happen. Who knows when? It's why I started prepping. It's why I started saving, put my money in precious metals. I just had this feeling, this gut feeling. You can watch things on TV or the news or the internet or wherever, YouTube. And you just get this feeling that something wasn't right. And I think if this what we're going through now didn't happen, I think something else would have happened uh, to, you know, our country sometime in the near future here, two to five years, I think something else would have happened. So I have been saving. <clears throat> now, I don't think I saved nowhere near enough. I don't put money in stock markets or anything like that. I live paycheck to paycheck because I take a chunk and I put it in the savings. I mean, I, I don't, you know, I work hard, I make decent money, but it wasn't, <clears throat> you know, I live in the Bay Area. It's expensive out here. I mean, really expensive to live out here. And those of you from the Bay Area, you know what I'm talking about. So, so from here on out, I have changed my way of thinking of how I'm going to be saving. From here on out, I will be taking a larger portion of my money and putting it up in my emergency fund. I will be putting it up in my, you know, food fund. I will be stacking more food. I, this has just got me ready for, uh, you know, uh, for the big one. If some really, really bad happens, like say we're going through this and then we have an earthquake and, you know, now that would be really, really bad. So... We've been having earthquakes, you know, Idaho's been having earthquakes, so I'm a little worried that uh, California could have an earthquake too. <clears throat> and if we lose our home and we have nowhere to go and we've dwindled down all our savings because of this issue right here, then it's really going to get bad. So this has changed my way of thinking and from here on out, I'm going to be saving a lot more money buying a lot more precious metals once this starts to slow down and the markets and the online dealers and everything kind of gets some kind of normalcy back 
So, yeah, that's uh, what I'm going to be doing here is changing up my whole get, get up and saving every penny I can, cutting out the things I don't need, some of the things I do, <clears throat> and, 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 just, and just saving that money. All right, you guys, that is it for me. So, yeah, did you save enough money for a major emergency like this? Um, have you changed your plans of what you're going to do in the future? Are you going to continue to buy more and more precious metals to help you make you save? You know, I am. I'm going to uh, be buying more precious metals and I'm going to be stacking more cash in the future. And I'm going to cut out all the dumb things that I don't need. And it's going into the savings. All right, that is it for me, you guys. Please hit the bell icon so you can get updated on my latest videos. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. It's the Savage Stacker. Over and out.